Still, the method we discussed in the previous part allows the creation of documents containing unwanted data. We can do it by utilizing program code. Go back to our form working with document and add attribute contract. Also add a new string to the code to save the attribute values. Let us check our filters now. Add incorrect value for the contract filter field. We see that the filter is not active and all contracts are available. We can even save such a document. See, it's available in the list now. As it is useless for us, well, it's just safe to remove it. What do we do to prevent adding unwanted data to our documents? Well, we want to make use of the object module in document purchases and to be more exact of event before write. It already automatically calculates document totals and contains procedure hello that we don't need anymore. Hence, we remove the procedure. Event before write, as mentioned before, becomes active right before the platform saves the respective document. As all of the above is happening inside the object module, this event becomes active no matter what initiates the right procedure. It includes the form module, program code, other object forms, and similar. Basically, this is the final step before the platform adds our document to the database. Let's create several filters for our document purchases. Imagine we don't want users to create a document with no goods in it, and we don't want any services in the list of goods because we provide services ourselves and cannot procure them from suppliers. Let us check how the code runs in 1C Enterprise mode. First, check it with an empty document. And now check for services. These messages are standard system notifications and do not give much helpful information. Here is the solution for the case. This way, we bring up an exception message displaying some valuable info for users. There is a more appropriate approach to processing potential errors. Try, accept, raise. We're going to study it later. Now we go back to our updated code that should look like this. Raise triggers an exception, terminates the code, and displays the error message. So it's time to go check our message.